wide receivers. Ah, oh, man. Uh, let's, let's start with some Brandon. of the lesser. Okay, let's start with Brandon. Let's, okay. All right, you want to you want to start with you want to start with uh Ray Ray? Hey, let's start with Ray Ray. Yeah, let's start with Ray Ray and Jawan. Let's start with Ray. All Ray. right, man. Look. That Ray Ray almost kind of feels like he's one of those guys where he just got here, but he's felt like he's been a Niner for a while, right? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. kind of feels like he's been here a while. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm really pleased with Ray Ray in the return game. Uh, I think we only lost one fumble this year from him in the return game. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about special teams in a minute. We're going to come back. We're yeah. going to talk about Ray Ray twice. But yeah, he's, yes, yes. Yeah. Only the one fumble. Okay. Only one. one of the things yeah. that I would love to talk about. Um, really congratulate or just um highlight with Ray Ray is great job filling in for Debo while he was oh. on in his stead. He was so I mean, good at it. Yeah. If we're gonna talk about it, let's talk about it. Um Ray Ray, not only was Ray Ray running good routes, but he had sure hands. He was finishing yards. He's explosive. After catch. He's explosive. Very, very, very explosive. explosive. Yeah. Um and honestly for um what that that's one of the things that I never really got about Ray Ray when we first got him is because he doesn't have top end speed, right? No. So it's not it's not like he's a burner, but he gets up quick. He gets he has burst and he's physical. Yes. So he finishes physical. his runs. It's crazy, yeah. Yes. Yeah. He will yeah. finish his runs. Um, yeah. I really um honestly speaking, I really want to It's like he thinks cool. he's Debo. He thinks he's um, Debo. I, I honestly I You know think, what I mean? He thinks he's yeah. 220. Yeah. I he think, thinks he's I 220. Think, I think that he he plays much bigger. Than no he fear. Is. Oh, I love no that. No fear. I love that. Um, and one of the things I like about Ray Ray is that even though Ray Ray is not big as far as like um, his frame is concerned, um, I'm really pleased with his heart, man. Ray Ray plays really hard and his durability. He was there in a the pinch for us. Um, I don't I feel know like the dude was did. underutilized. I feel like he, he he deserved more touch. I know they have a well, ton of playmakers. This, Where will we have used him if Debo's back? Where That's the thing. Him? It's a, And uh, Kyle couldn't figure it out, but I felt like good things happened when he got the ball on offense. I mean, the, when he was targeted, the, the, the quarterback rating on the team was 102. I mean, he... There was so much you could do with him, so I feel like he's young. He's going to be here. There is more meat on the bone for the Ray for Ray Ray in his career with the Forty yeah. Niners. Yeah, he can he can do that. Mar he can take on that Marquise. He Goodman earned role. more. He earned more, especially if in a pinch when people are hurt because you know Debo's in and out sometimes. All right, what about Jawan? I mean, Jawan had a quiet year um, as far as uh, touchdowns are concerned, but I'm pleased with Jawan. I would I would really challenge Jawan to get in his playbook. Uh, throughout the year, Juwan was not really finishing routes the right way. He was not understanding plays uh, and having miscommunications at times with quarterbacks. Now, mind you, we had 35 quarterbacks this year, so not being on the right page for quarterbacks is very easy. But I would really focus on um, Juwan trying to stay as fast as he is. He's not really uh, – he's a very physical player. So when you have physical players like Juwan, you almost want them to try to keep their speed, not get faster. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. he can't get fast. So he needs to keep his speed. Uh, I, I love. I, I would want him to get stronger in the run game. He is an asset at blocking the at blocking um, in the run game. Uh, I'm very pleased with his physicality. Um, and he needs to take that to the next level. He's been in yeah. here. Uh, he needs. He's been here. This will be his third year that he's coming yes. up on. And no. I feel like the third year is a charm for you to start trying to get that bag. Uh, so what does that mean? That means that Juwan, he's got to be a little bit more than a bull in the China cabinet as far as um, with his routes or just being that utility physical guy. I think Juwan is going to do really good next year. Um, he could, you know, you could stand to gain a little bit of weight. Juwan, I wouldn't mind if Juwan put on like five pounds. Yeah, I can um, see that. Yeah, yeah. He's it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Anyway. It, it wouldn't sacrifice much speed. I, I want to give him some credit though as a receiver. Like, uh, he, what did he have? He had uh, 20, 23 first down on twenty three first downs on thirty five catches. That's money. I mean, that's, that's money. nothing but scheme. You know, yeah. that scheme and that also says to me is that Jawan when he get when he has a route that he likes he wins. Yes. Right. So my thing is is that. That's what I mean when when I first started highlighting Juwan with running run routes. Broaden your tree, bro. Yeah. There's all there's routes that you obviously run at a at a great high level. 
we need to be able to get all of those routes on that level, right? And yeah. then we can get a compliment of being a possession, a true possession receiver. Also, and, and if you want to be a true possession receiver, Juwan, you got to stop dropping the ball. I mean, you look, let me get the numbers real quick. He had seven drops on 30, on 56 targets. That's a 12.5% drop rate. That's way too high. That's it's the worst on the it. team. It's not yeah. going to get it done. It was an issue in training camp. And some of those drops led to interceptions. And and people don't know this, but when he was targeted this year, the, his, the quarterback rating on the team was 68. Again, lowest on the team. Now, good things happen most of the time, but there were some big focus drops that led to big interceptions on this season. So that's something he needs to, to, to uh, cut out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I and you know again he just he just, I feel like it's his third year he would he would it would serve him well to be polished coming into yep. next year. Yep, because next right. year is your is your contract year. All right, let's talk, Brandon. Um, well, congratulations on one K. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, he had one K. That's that's huge for Brandon. Uh, I feel like Brandon also did very well with his physicality this year and his persona. I feel like he's kind of stepped out as a little bit more of a, of a leader. He's not so much of a, of a fly on the wall anymore. Uh, yeah, last year he was sort of like in the he, – he got put in the doghouse and he kind of just accepted it. This yeah. year, like, he's been kick, kicking ass. All, uh, he's been very forceful. Yeah, and, forceful. and he, he got some little homies on the team. It's some it's some dudes that look up to him on the yeah, team. Yeah, that's true. You know? That's true. Um, and I noticed that uh, I noticed that from the very beginning. I remember how Danny Gray was talking about mm-hmm. BA, um, even mm-hmm. in OTAs early on. Mm-hmm. Uh, so mm-hmm. uh, one of the things about being a leader that BA is going to have to notice is that uh, it ain't what you say, it's what you do. And mm-hmm. people are going to start watching you now that you're a leader. Um, so, um, you have to start asking yourself, what kind of leader do you want to be? All right. Um, you've been here long enough where you have people looking up to you and they respect what you do on the field. They respect how you prepare and how you approach the game. But, uh, sometimes I feel like Brandon likes to, you know, be the contrarian for the sake of being the contrarian. Um, and he needs to grow up. Um, um, from a standpoint of understanding that you're gonna get paid, but don't ruin your reputation in the in in the in the process of trying to get paid. Don't do that. Um, yeah, don't don't post pictures of you in, in Giants uniforms and then try to explain it afterward. Like just don't do don't that. do that. Don't, don't do that. You don't need yeah, to do it. Like, you let your play fe- speak for yourself. You just put together a great year. Great come year. on. That's yes. just it's so counterintuitive to what yes. you're trying to do from a holistic view. Yep. You just had a one thousand yard season you're, you're portraying ahead. yourself as the ultimate pro and you just pulled it off for a full year don't do this stuff don't, don't do that don't right do yeah. and and what's crazy is is that you know what this says when players do this type of stuff in the off season it says that you don't have a productive life outside of football because mm-hmm. this is what you're doing on your off season right right because yeah. you're not training, you're not yeah. trying to enrich yourself, yeah. you're not doing family shit, you're not being a dad. All the things we know you're doing, yeah. but the only indication of what your activity is in the offseason is what? What we see on social media. True. Don't don't tarnish a great body of work with stupid shenanigans on an app. All right, don't it. do that. I feel it. I feel it. Now let's talk about Debo. Uh, well, it's time for you to uh, really come in to to show why we paid the money, right? Thank you. you. We, we we got we we got you paid, all right, by hook or crook, all right. You did, yep. you know, it, it is what it is. We are together now. Yep. Um, and through this, you've shown year, what you can do in this league. You've shown that you can be an all pro player. You have right. And let's be if we're being fair, none of us expected an encore of the of last year. No, from Debo. No. That's so no. hard to yep. do. But what we do expect is for you to be durable. Um, yep. and that that. I feel like that sounds so shitty to say from the yeah. bullet that we dodged um, yeah. with him getting hurt against Tampa. Uh, right. But prior to that injury, um, Debo was playing his way into shape. Um, yes, that's th- those are all the season. Yeah, yes. all season. And, and I don't know um, that he ever actually got there. Hard yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Debo um, is. One of the things that I don't want him to waste is again with Brandon is, bro, you worked so hard to get yeah. this this reputation, right? Yeah. And right. you know, part of that reputation is carries on to the field, right? Mm-hmm. But like we talked about Trent, you know, the only people that are scared to see you come are the people that ain't playing. 
pucks right. coming. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah, right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Like, other players who watch you and other coaches, they're watching not blocking on the back end, walking yeah. on the field, dropping yeah. passes, yeah. being lethargic on routes that you're not getting the ball, tipping right. plays on sides. You know, these are the things that, that – Yeah, these are the things that come through on film. And then what just kind of puts a fat, stinking cherry on top of it is – you're one of our highest paid players. Yeah. Right. So yeah. what one you're of supposed things, to be the culture setter. Thank you. You're one so, of the things is you you're, can't. You're, you're the example. We want you to play like Debo. Yeah. Be like Debo. That's what there's, he's supposed to be. Yeah. You can't be the guy. You can't be the guy that we that that earned the bag, got the bag, and then sticks his thumb in our face. It you know, sticks that. his thumbs his nose at us. Yeah, you can't yeah. do that because yeah. and this is the part about getting paid that I think a lot of fans such as myself, we don't realize is that, yeah, they deserve the money, but there comes mm -hmm. a responsibility of making sure that that money is represented well, right? Because if that organization looks like a goddamn ATM, then what happens is that we don't have checks and balances on the type of athletes and players that we come in here because we don't have anybody doing it the right way, right? right? So when right. you pay a guy like Debo, the the level of scrutiny rises because the responsibility is uh, is in his bank account. And what, I'm not here to say that Debo did not do that this year. It was a rough year. He came through. We ha we played as hard as he could. But what I would like to see is I would like to see a the same thing, a stable entry into this camp. Debo yep. needs to be in shape, motivated. He needs to be at OTAs. He needs to be at OTAs, mini camp, training camp, the whole yeah. way. Because if no he does, Hollywood he'll be shit. great. No, none of that. No more. Hollywood. I don't need to see you. I don't need to see you eat Mike and Ike's courtside at the uh, work. I mean, go ahead. Yeah. But if you're gonna do that, you also have to be at every single yeah. OTA. For every yeah. time I see you at the Warrior game, I need you to be at practice every time. Yeah. Because if he does, he'll be. If he does, the Niners, you can't stop. But if Debo's their best player on offense, like he was to you, how, how do you stop this offense? Yeah. He stopped himself this year. Can't happen again because he's so special. He's injury arguably the best player in the team. In injury, injury notwithstanding, you yes. know, I, I, you know, coming off that injury, you can almost say, you know, who, who, what do we know, Grant? After that injury, there could have been a, a serious, you know, group roundtable of like, hey, listen, even if he does make it on the field, he's going to be sixty percent. Fair, right? Fair. Even if yeah. he does make yeah. it on the field, yep. so I, I want to be fair as well, you know. Yeah. From seeing an injury like that and still seeing him on the field. Like that speaks volumes within of itself. Yeah. However, yeah. a body of work needs to start being created now. Yeah, no, I think what we said about D what we said about Armstead kind of applies to Debo. Like, dude, we know what you can do, um, and now it's just about you putting together another full season and being there the entire way. And agree, you tell me what it's going to take for you to do it because you've done it before and you should know what it takes. Joey Mel, oh, hold on, great, great. Grade. What's up? Grade. Let's let's grade this oh. position. Wide receivers. Oh, oh, oh. B minus. That's fair. B minus. Just not what we expected from Debo. Ayuk had a great year. Ayuk had a great uh, year. Debo, Debo, Debo was the catalyst of this group, and he needs to play better.